Hello viewers and welcome to your very own Tech and More. Hope you guys are doing awesome. So uh, we got this request, or rather, I would say multiple request that said that can you create a playlist which is Salesforce's Sales Cloud, or easy easing it up, Sales Cloud concepts to know as a Salesforce tester. So much similar to our playlist that is Salesforce concepts to know as a Salesforce tester. I know a lot of times Salesforce word has been used, but that's that's required. So the, the playlist is on the similar lines. That is, you will find a lot of content around learning sales cloud, but that is more, I would say, focused on admin and the development perspective. Uh, you will rarely find any playlist that covers sales cloud from the testing perspective, right? So if you're preparing for an interview uh, and you know you say that I have an expertise in sales cloud as well. So the amount of information or the amount of knowledge that you need to have uh, as a sales cloud or as you know as, as a tester is something that we're going to cover here. So I hope that uh, similar to that playlist that is the, the one I just spoke about, you 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 know you find this one also very helpful and uh, we help you crack a good job for yourself. Uh, but before going ahead, guys, if you like our content, please share, subscribe with the community because, of course, it keeps us motivated, right? So let's start. First of all, I am going to have this annotation used this time because it makes it easier to use. So let me go here and let us go to the definition. So Sales Cloud is a key cloud of Salesforce which is aimed at optimizing and automating sales workflows. It centralizes sales information, allowing teams to manage leads, opportunities, and accounts efficiently. Easy To easify it or to simplify it, I would say, uh, every organization, every industry will have a sales department, right? Now, in sales department, the basic thing is that you have to sell out products. There are multiple things related to it. The, the salesperson would reach out to you. You would say yes or no. If you say yes, there is an entire process or a cycle. Uh, you might ask questions, then you are at one stage or the other stage and so on. Uh, so all those things come under the ambit of sales cycle. Now, automating all the processes related to sales cycle come under the ambit of sales cloud. So Salesforce has come up with a sales cloud or an out-of-box package for you, wherein everything related to sales or sales cycle has been put in one picture and it has a lot of things have been automated and some things you can change according to your will. That is how it usually works. Uh, we'll see uh, how a sales cloud looks like as well in, in, in a while, but for now, this is the definition. Then second is importance in sales processes. So, you know, uh, it will enhance the sales effectiveness by reducing the time spent on administrative tasks and increases focuses on client interaction. All in all, the idea that Salesforce had is that there are some processes in a sales cycle that you, when, you, when someone is selling a product, which can be automated, some manual tasks can be automated. So the sales representatives get more time to focus on something else, right? Then a centralized platform, as a centralized platform, Sales Cloud integrates various sales functions, providing a single source of truth for sales data. This integration streamlines communication, fosters collaboration, and ensures that all the team members have the access to up-to-date information. As an example, I know it becomes a little difficult to understand the definition, but as an example, uh, let's say uh, one sales chap is working on some opportunity, some sort of client, and they want to update, they want the data to get updated in real time. So when they use Salesforce, and if they update some data, some contact, some state, some interest, the other person will be able to see that, yes, this particular contact has already been approached. So we need not go and approach them again. You might you might have encountered this earlier, a couple of years back, when you might have received the sales call from some company of some, some customer support repeatedly, right? You Even you say no, then also you get the call. That is wherein the real-time uh, updation was not happening. So that is the concept of centralized platform that you update the data, it gets updated in real time and everybody has the access to the updated data. Right now, let's go and have a look at the sales cloud, uh, how it looks like, because I always feel that it, it's, it gives you a better idea when you have something uh, act, in actuality in front of you. So let me just, just give me a second. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, there you go. So this is how a sales console looks like the sales cloud or the sales implementation, as you can see here in front of you. Uh, then you have different objects here, lead, account, contact, opportunities, campaigns. So everything 
related to a typical sales cycle has been broken down into different objects and there are different features associated with it which we'll see in a while but for now this is how a sales cloud looks to you looks like to you this is a seller whom you see in the closed deals the uh, the the relationships that are growing today's events today's tasks so everything pertaining to sales will has been jotted down in reports and then you have these different objects as an example let me take you to one of the opportunity let me go through this opportunity i'm just giving you an example you might under, not understand everything in detail but for now uh, do you see these stages right here right so it starts with qualification then goes to need analysis then it goes to value proposition then it goes to id decision makers then it goes to perception analysis and so on so when someone is trying to sell something to you uh, there are going to be different stages it's not that a sales person comes out to you and you say yes on the first day never happens right even you have been in that situation so the idea is that to capture the idea or the status in every stage or in, in every cycle is the idea behind it so all these different functionalities or different features that are there in a sales cycle generally has been implemented using sales cloud that this is how the look and feel is this has been shown to you to give you a flavor of how sales cloud looks like now let's go back and uh, let's have a look at some of the key benefits of sales cloud first one is you can close deals faster how it will automate the routine tasks allowing sales team to focus on high impact activities with streamlined processes for managing leads and opportunities businesses can respond to customer inquiries swiftly reducing the sales duration see you you think it logically if a couple of manual tasks or repeated tasks are being automated you will have better time to interact more with the client thus your deals will get closed faster secondly predict future sales accurate forecasting is a cornerstone of sales cloud by analyzing historical data and trends the teams can forecast revenues more accurately making informed decisions as an example uh, <clears throat> if you have a lot of historical data and you are able to make sense out of that data that okay we saw that during so and so months uh, this type of customers are more active so let's target accordingly uh, it helps you with the future trends and that is what the today's market is all about you try to make sense of the future trends right that is something that sales cloud offers number 3 is scale easily it is designed in such a manner that it grows with the business its flexible platform supports scaling by adding new users and functionalities without disrupting existing workflow so it's very dynamic it's very adjustable new things come up it will be able to accommodate the, those new things very quickly so these are some benefits of using sales cloud right now we are going to go and have a look at the uh, key components or the key features of sales cloud and of course in the coming videos i'm going to have one dedicated video for every of these features like lead management opportunity management account management everything i'm going to have a dedicated video around each and every feature right but first of all let's quickly go and have a look at them at an overview level and then we'll continue cool so the first feature of sales cloud is lead management uh as you can see here uh, basically whenever you have leads leads are and i'm sorry i should have informed this earlier what are leads the customers who have not become customers yet as an example uh you get a call from a customer support executive saying that we have a loan that we want to sell to you uh you say yes you say no or maybe uh, how would they denote you before calling so let's say i am a customer support executive and you are someone whom i whom i'm going to call right how will i denote you i will denote you by using the word lead so you're a lead for me right now you're not a customer once you say yes and you pay the money then you get converted into a customer right so this is how leads are denoted or uh, sort of signified in sales force or in sales cloud this is the lead object and let me show you one sample record if i have it here so if you go here you click on details you have these stages you have these different values that can be captured as an example if what is the lead's name what is the uh, company uh, what is the lead source what is the email the status of the lead address and so on right so all these details are captured in the lead object and of course what is object and what is fields if you don't know it refer to my playlist that is salesforce concepts to know as a salesforce tester it's a playlist you will find it on my channel uh, first you need to learn that then you need to come here 
uh, that is what lead management is so everything that pertains to lead management will will be covered in this one as i said i'm going to have dedicated video for lead management going to have a dedicated video for opportunity management and so on so if you want to know more in detail go to the next videos secondly opportunity management so uh, anything that correlates to opportunity uh, what is opportunity basically when you know that okay i feel that this particular company can buy our products right this is an opportunity so all the tasks related to that opportunity will be captured somewhere here right so <clears throat> let me go to one of the opportunity let me go to details you will see the stages we already spoke about it then the different values and the different fields which are required for an opportunity are mentioned here so everything all the process pertaining to opportunity management is written here thirdly account management so let me go to salesforce again let me show you the account a sample account for example and uh, you, the the account that you're working for or maybe you're targeting is something which is mentioned here and uh, sales cloud will centralize account information providing teams with all necessary details at their fingertips this comprehensive view facilitates personal engagement and fosters long term customer relationships as an example you have this account you have all the details uh you have the activity here that is what tasks are assigned pending chatter that is how you type talk to each other type to each other chatter is a generic functionality it's not specific to sales cloud so you can refer to the playlist that is salesforce cloud, sales uh, salesforce concepts to know as a salesforce tester you know i keep on saying salesforce so many times i tend to get a little confused so yeah that's account management <clears throat> then you have activity management so it will enable the scheduling and tracking of all sales related activities this functionality helps ensure that important tasks follow ups and appointments are never overlooked so basically uh, you know you will have a lot of tasks as a sales person you have to call them you have to email them you have to follow up and all those things they are all can be automated and you have a beautiful way of aut automating that of, of course you see this activity tab right here you can create a new task from here you click on new task you'll see it here you click on log a call you'll see here you click on new event you'll see this pop up and you click on email and you can send out an email as well right so all these different uh, tasks or different activities that you need to do as a sales person all are jotted down here so that sort of provides you a centralized feel number one number two there are automations you will get the reminders around tasks as well right so that comes under activity management we'll talk about that as well then uh, forecasting uh, as we discussed at the starting when we were talking about the benefits or uh, the key benefits of sales cloud is uh, having a look at the previous concepts right uh, it's going to forecast things for you as a sales person and which is going to help you in sales planning right in sales planning and then you can you know make decisions accordingly so uh, everything that comes under forecasting will be discussed in that video but yes that is one of the key benefit of sales cloud then it's automation 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 everywhere this is common to everything right any cloud any salesforce any system for that matter it has a new a lot of automations already done uh, which you can simply use Uh, th these automations will allow sales representatives to focus on more complex duties by increasing operational efficiency as an example i'll tell you if you go to leads right we will talk about uh, lead management more in the next video so next video is going to be around lead management fyi uh, but we are going to see how you go to a lead and when the lead says that yes i am interested to go for your business or your product you are going to convert that lead you have a convert button here right so all that happens when you click on the convert button you are going to see a lot of new contact or accounts and opportunities get sorry not a lot you are going to see contact account and opportunity get created automatically once you convert uh, they will automatically get converted for you that that's an example of an automation or maybe when you move the status to some value uh, an email is triggered automatically right so some functionalities salesforce will provide out of box that is by default in your sales cloud some functionalities the developers or the system integrators or the testers will build and test this this is how it works right so that is how automation is a very critical part of sales cloud right so uh, i think uh, the last one is collaboration of course see this is not a topic per se but it's a it's, it's a sort of a summary of everything that is uh, there are a lot of tools or or a lot of ways by which it can make collaboration easy for you as a sales cloud person between the client and you or your managers or your seniors right then <clears throat> you have reports and dashboards so you have this uh, option of creating very very beautiful looking and very informative reports uh, if i can open any report for you see 
दिस रिपोर्ट इज ऑल अराउंड जस्ट सेकेंड वील सी इट अप्रूव्ड पार्टनर फंड क्लेम्स ऑफ कोर्स दर इज नो डेटा राइट नाउ बट यू गेट द पिक्चर राइट और मे बी ओपन अपॉर्चुनिटीज बाई स्टेज यू क्लिक ऑन दिस एंड वॉट एवर अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर देयर हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर दिस डेटा एंड एवरीथिंग वी लर्न इन द सेक्शन वेर इन वील टॉक अबाउट रिपोर्ट्स एंड डैशबोर्ड्स इन 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 डिटेल but you get the picture that reports and dashboards wherein data can be visualized properly with graphs and with line charts and bars and everything will be is a part of sales cloud and we'll be discussing that as well right so these are uh, the key features of sales cloud i would say and uh, i think i'll stop right here we in this video the introductory video of sales cloud concepts to know as a sales force tester uh we spoke about sales cloud overview we spoke about the key benefits and then we spoke about the key features now in the upcoming videos i am going to talk about all these key uh features or the key components that you see here lead management opportunity management account management and so on in every video one by one next video is going to be dedicated around lead management so if you want if you are interested in learning keep on watching my next videos and i hope that they help you big time so i'll stop right here i have been blabbering for a quite amount of time now so i hope that this video is helpful and the upcoming videos are also helpful to you uh, if you want us to create more content around as per your demand do let us know we'll be more than happy to do it right so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video